Last week, Samsung launched the Samsung Galaxy M31 in the Philippines. It was an online exclusive wherein you can only get it from Lazada. And they packed it with value by offering like the Samsung Galaxy Fit as a freebie to the device. Now, you can clearly see from the price point as well as the rollout distribution strategy of Samsung and marketing that it was aimed to fend off Chinese smartphone brands that offer amazing value such as Realme, Huawei, and of course, Xiaomi slash Redmi. So the big question is, can this phone, can the Galaxy M31 actually compete with the likes of Xiaomi, uh, Redmi, Realme, and Huawei? That's what we'll be answering in today's video. Let's go! If you want to help the channel out, guys, please give this video a thumbs up. Hit the like button down below. Also, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and share it on Facebook. Lastly, we are giving away a massage gun. What? Yes, a massage gun. So if you want to see what are the mechanics for that particular giveaway, just watch the video that I'll link down below, which is my a recent like Lazada haul video that I did. So check that out. Link, description box, and in the comment section. So this is the Samsung Galaxy M31. It's 6.4 inch Super AMOLED HD Plus display. is stunning as usual. It's made out of, well, primarily like the plastic build that you get with smartphones at this price range. You have a 32 megapixel shooter up front. You have the 64 megapixel quad camera set up at the back. And it's pretty much your typical nice-looking Samsung phone. Of course, now we get to the real question. Can the Samsung Galaxy M31 compete against devices such as the Realme 6 or the Realme 6 Pro or the Redmi Note 9 Pro? Let's start things off with the processor. The Samsung Galaxy M31 uses the Samsung Exynos 9611 processor. And to be very honest and candid with you guys, can it compete with the likes of the Snapdragon processors that you have with the Realme 6 and 6 Pro or even the Redmi Note 9 Pro? Uh, the answer to that is no, it cannot. Uh, mainly because uh, the, 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 the proof of the pudding is in the eating. And when I play games, the reality is that it is not up to par, especially if you play graphics or resource intensive games. And, and one of the games that I play a lot, and a lot of you guys who've been watching this channel know this, is I'm a huge fan of NBA 2K20. And you can feel the lag. You can feel the slight delay uh, when you are playing the game on the Samsung Galaxy M31, which is something that I never felt with either the Realme devices, the, the Realme 6 line, or even, of course, the Redmi uh, Note 9 series. And that that is something that is kind of disappointing because I, I really had high hopes for the Samsung Galaxy M31 because I felt, hey, this is a legitimate solid choice that can compete against the Chinese phone brands at, at, at this price point, at this value price range that we've been seeing that's been gaining so much popularity in the last few weeks. Now, don't get me wrong, if it's your normal tasks such as social media, SMS, web browsing, YouTube, all of those things the phone can handle brilliantly well, especially coupled with the gorgeous display. But if you are primarily looking for a smartphone that's built for gaming, that can support your gaming needs and wants, this isn't it. In short, the Redmi Note 9 Pro, the Realme 6 or the 6 Pro can whoop the ass of the Samsung Galaxy M31 when it comes to gaming. Now let's talk about the camera. When it comes to the camera, you have a 64 megapixel quad camera setup at the back. You have your ultra wide lens, you have your 5 megapixel macro lens, and of course you have the depth sensor. Up front, you have the 32 megapixel selfie camera. Now when it comes to Samsung cameras, it's pretty much Samsung-esque in terms of color profile, which is more on the saturated side. And can it compete against the Realmes and Xiaomis of this world? To be honest, it's a good camera. I mean, it, it, I can't say that it can um, whoop the ass of the cameras of the other devices that I just mentioned, but it can definitely compete. So regardless if it's a selfie shot or the ultra wide or shots taken with the main camera, uh, at the end of the day, Samsung really does well in that particular field. So uh, with that, I, I think it's okay. I wouldn't say that it's inferior, 
but I wouldn't also say that it is miles ahead of the competition. So in short, if you're just looking for a phone that can deliver great photos at a good price point, or if you're looking for a phone that will, you know, let you get your TikTok fix in, uh, then this should work. Now let's talk about the battery life, and this is where it truly shines. Uh, the Samsung Galaxy M31 has a 6,000 milliampere or milliampere, I don't know what you call it, battery. So that is just insanely monstrous, 6,000. You usually see 5,000 in other devices or a little less than 5,000. This has six friggin' thousand. And in my experience of using it in the last few days as my daily driver, uh, it's easy to go beyond the day. Some reviewers are saying that it can last up to two days. I haven't really gotten to that point. But I have had like a couple of days where in, I wouldn't need to charge it and it would still have enough battery life to get me to like afternoon or early afternoon the following day. But of course, if you're going to abuse it with gaming, then don't expect it to do like two days. You know, the, the, the two day thing is if you're a casual user for browsing, for YouTube, for emails, maybe you'll sneak in a gaming like session or one or twice. But if you're looking like a gaming marathon, of course, you'll deplete the battery as you normally would. Now, this also has fast charging. Out of the box, I think you have like a 15 watts charger, fast charger that comes, but it will still take a while to charge it because it is 6,000 uh, milliampere milli hours. I don't know what the exact term is. Please let me know what the exact term is down below. Uh, so it will still take time to get it to 100% despite the fast charger. Lastly, let's get to the display. This one has a 6.4 inch full HD plus infinity U AMOLED display. Such a mouthful. <laughs> but ultimately, yeah, the display is nice. Uh, if you're, you're into watching movies, you just have this really small notch or punch hole or whatever you want to call it, teardrop thing at the very top of the display but if you but but it works well i mean you want to watch movies you want to watch youtube you want to watch netflix uh, it's a really awesome display but again if you will stack it up for example against a competition let's say you have the realme 9 or the 9 pro uh, which is a 9 realme 9 i'm mixing up the xiaomi's and the, and the realme if you have the realme 6 or the 6 pro versus for example the samsung galaxy m31 uh, the realme 6 line also already has 90 hertz refresh rate at this price point so that, there you see like a clear advantage of uh, another brand that this one doesn't have. So again, uh, can it compete against uh, the other brands that I just mentioned? Unfortunately, no, because there is one like brand that is clearly superior when it comes to this department. But to sum it all up, can the Samsung Galaxy M31 compete against the value offerings of Chinese smartphone brands today? If you will just base it purely on raw power and performance, the answer to that is unfortunately and sadly no. The processor really is a step behind the processors that you get with the same smartphones in the same price range uh, for the other brands. And if you think about it, even some of the devices that they offer that are less priced than this offer better performance, especially in terms of gaming. However, if you are looking for a Samsung branded smartphone or if you are looking for a non-Chinese smartphone and your primary purpose would be mostly social media, YouTube, texting, calling, browsing, uh, and your budget is around 15,000 and you don't want to rock like a Chinese smartphone brand, then this can probably work for you. Again, please just take note that the processor isn't the most powerful one. And if you are expecting to, you know, get like a jaw-dropping gaming experience out of this, that's really not the case. Now, if you want to pick up the Samsung Galaxy M31, it is exclusively available on Lazada. I'll put the link down below. Uh, but as of the publishing of this video, it is out of stock. I can't find it. It's, it says they're out of stock uh, for the model that's just the phone or even the bundle package with the Galaxy Fit. So yeah, it's out of stock. You can't buy it right now. But hey, if you want one, just add it to wish list. And if they restock, you'll get notified. That, ladies and gentlemen, wraps up our vlog for today. What about you? What do you think about the Samsung Galaxy M31 when you do a head-to-head -head with devices from Xiaomi, Redmi, and Realme? Let me know, guys, in the comment section down below. I would love to hear from you your comments, your thoughts on Samsung against the Chinese smartphone brands. Are you a Samsung fan? What are your thoughts? I'd love to hear from you guys as well. Uh, it shouldn't be just me talking. Uh, if you have something that you want to share, uh, go ahead and do so. Share it in the comment section down below. And before we end, let me just plug. Uh, some, As you guys probably can tell, I, I amass 
a lot of gadgets and sneakers on this channel and I really don't you know I, I just buy them for review and then, then I usually just sell them after uh, and the, the way I would do it before is that I would have the steel cabinet in Greenhouse whereas I would have like my second hand, hand stuff up for sale so if you live in the Philippines and if you want to buy like second hand sneakers uh, second, second hand gadgets that were used primarily for review sometimes probably less than a couple of days uh, check out my carousel account I'll put the link down below I have a few sneakers up there and a few devices that might interest you so all of the items there are stuff that I bought with my own money uh, that I'm now letting go because I just do have too much stuff and I need the money to buy new stuff to review on this channel anyway so that said I hope you guys are doing fine as usual this is Carlo peace God bless what's up boom